Hello and welcome to another Fish Madman film. Today we're going to be trying to tie a skating pattern by Ron uh, Grantham. It's uh, originally designed for me tying it on a little hook. We're going to try to tie it on a hitch tube. Let's see how we do it. We'll be using a few items this time. First of all, we got some very fine tube here, designed by Fish Madman. We'll be using a bit of fluorocarbon. We got some white-tailed deer hair, various kinds of silfur, color threads, a stagger, and a bit of tinsels. And we'll be needing a marker pen for this job as well. Let's try. For this particularly Grantham Satch, we're going to make it 25, 27 millimeters long. Just going to cut a piece off here. Like this, and we're gonna we're gonna make a little hole in the side of the tube. We're gonna make that five millimeters in, and that you have to be fairly precise with that. Now we're gonna be heating a uh, a big needle like this one. Gonna run through the tube. Like that. Nice I'll use a little drill here to clean up inside. Gonna put it on a uh, tying needle like that. We put the tube in the needle. We're gonna face the hole, the exit hole here, or inset hole, exactly downwards, like that. Pointing downwards. Round thread right here. Gonna whip that on. Like that. We're gonna leave a little piece here for the insertion of the hooks. Afterwards, like that, we're going to apply, apply a piece of uh, fluorocarbon. You can use any uh, kind of uh, monofilament. I prefer this one. It's a fairly thin one, 0.20 millimeters. So, fairly thin. I'm just going to secure this. For this body of the fly, we're going to be using three different kinds of silfur. I believe Mr. Grantham would only use these two. We're going to add a little extra hot red silfur. Let's try. Let's try. As you might have noticed, I put more than sufficient material on. I'm going to rip this and we're going to pick some of it out. I'm going to run the rip through the fly. Gonna pick out the uh, seals for your body. And why are we doing this? We want the fly to look very insect life, very insect like. Then we're gonna in introduce another thread. This is a very strong fire line 0.04. It's very good for tying deer hair. We're gonna tie in a piece of this very fine northern whitetail. This is uh, material from late autumn animal, November I think. Uh, very buoyant and very nice hair. Just gonna try to cut a piece off here. I'm just gonna take sort of like a pencil size of hair. Before you tie the hair and you make sure that the hole for the uh, leader is situated exactly facing down from the wing. Let's check that. Yeah, it's right there. Here we go. I'm going to put the, the wing on and extend it to just the end of the tube, like that. Just 
make it a couple of turns and I'm going to tighten it fairly tighten like that I'm just going to bring a uh, piece of tinsel in Mr. Grantham does not put tinsels in his but I'm going to put try to put a piece in here for just for visual aspects to find the fly out on the river like that gonna, just going to end the thread here by a couple of hitches like that and we're almost done we're going to cut these hairs into shape You've seen I use this white thread. Thread. We're just gonna cover that up by a bit of uh, the in ink marker here. Like that. And we're gonna give it a bit of super glue. Okay. I'm just gonna show you how it's fixed for fishing. You take your leader. You run it through the. Uh, entrance hole, like that, line comes out there, goes on an angle in there, you tie the hook on, gonna pull it into the tube, like that, and uh, you're ready to hitch, or skate as Mr. Granton would say. Why tie this on a tube? Well the abilities of the tube is well known, but one of the very good things about a tube is that you can choose what hook you use and the hook will come out during a fight or can come out and there's less leverage when you use big flies when you use a tube fly as this as you will see. Okay, I hope you like the show and have a go at the Grand Ham tube set yourself. See you out by the river. Bye.